guys, welcome back. I hope that you're all okay and that you've had a really blessed week. So this week, what we're gonna be doing is what is gonna be happening in the future with you and your person. Now it's really interesting, I was drawn to completely and utterly polar opposite decks. Um, deck two, I haven't actually used yet because I was gonna wait for Halloween because it's a nightmare before Christmas tarot cards. But for some reason, I'm really feeling drawn to using them for you guys today. And then deck number one um, is the, I wanna call it the Oakley Ash and Thorn, but I think it's called the Three Trees Tarot. So very, very different decks, um, what I was really drawn to. So let's do this. What is the future of you and your person? So deck number one, and deck number two, pick the deck that you are most drawn to. Think about your person, and as you're thinking about your person, feel those emotions in your heart and push it to the deck you are drawn to. Number one and number two. Okay, let's do this. Number one, so as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy. Um, if you need me for private readings, all the information is in the description. Um, England is coming out of lockdown on around the 12th of April, so if you want to book in before that happens and uh, before I go and get a little bit more busy it's probably a good time to book at the moment right think about your person for me your person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes it's a big deck and all possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes so i've got i don't remember who sang this one i want to say it's robin williams from my hometown she's the one that's coming up really um really clearly was it robin williams though that is the question on everybody's mind she's the one um he's from stoke where i live so i should probably know that but i'm not a massive robin williams fan right what is the future of deck number one and their person okay this deck is just totally adorable look at the look at the little bunnies it's so cute so cute the future of you and your person so pentacles energy is symbolized by the bunny it's, and it's really interesting at this time of year as we've just gone into spring equinox that the, the hair is a sign of spring and this is my hair excalibur um <laughs> i called him excalibur because he's from glastonbury um very much symbolizing new birth new um energies coming forward into your life i just absolutely loved him i couldn't not buy him so it's really interesting that the first two cards that you've got over here are pentacles energies with the hair. So this is symbolising, like I said, symbolising new life being brought into you and your person. Um, fertile periods, periods of, of um, your relationship taking the next steps. What is the future of them and their person? I'm just going to get three more. I don't feel we need excessive amounts of cards for you guys. Okay, so as I said, we have all this kind of hair energy coming forward, spring happening now. So for a timing with you and your person and your future, it will be happening round about now. Okay, lots of shifting and changing happening with your person and lots of potential over here for families, babies, um, weddings, happy houses, white picket fences, everything that you want. The potential for you guys is absolutely massive. And as I said, it is starting now, um, probably kind of moving towards more autumn period. So from now to autumn, there are significant changes going on with your person. You have got a bright future with them. You have got a stable future with them um, and it is much more secure cure than perhaps it has been in the past you're going to be going through a period of transformation uh where you have been with your person this is now transforming that energy is shifting and changing around you as it brings new life into your relationship so that is pretty cool um so let's just talk about these three cards which are next okay we have three knights all of these signifying movement. You've got the Knight of Cups, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, and you've got the Knight of Wands. So the only card that you are missing here is the Knight of Swords. Now that is probably a good thing. Knight of Swords, um, he comes in with immediate action and he's like, yes, uh, I'm acting on instinct. I'm going with the thought process. This is what I want. And he um, can sometimes be a little bit flippant. Okay, so the fact that he's missing is suggesting that this movement coming towards you is a lot more stable and grounded. So you have movement based on their emotions for you. You have movement based on sta stability and foundations and the physical, and you have movement based on the fire energy, the passion energy, the creative energy, creating new life in this relationship again. So 
out of how many cards did you get? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight out of eight cards. Three of them are knights. Okay, big sweeping movement coming towards you. So even if nothing has been happening and you're like, I don't know what's going on over here, I'm a little bit conflicted, movement stepping in. And again, really being highlighted with the spring months coming forward here. You've got a brand new beginning with your person. You've got the fool over here. Look how cute Bambi is. Um, you've got the fool over here, learning to kind of take the steps, go with the flow of it, see what happens. And again, really transforming the energy of this relationship. Very strong connection being built up here. Lots of energy kind of amalgamating around you. Spirit is saying with this card, you've got all the tools and tricks that you need to bring this relationship into fruition. So if you are a little bit in your mind and a little bit on a more negative frequency and a lower vibration, do try and distract yourself and then manifest things into your reality. When I first started YouTube, met her, how many years ago now? Like two years ago? maybe three years ago, um, I did a video on manifesting and I put it in all the public descriptions. So if you need any tips and tricks on that, uh, go and have a listen. But I also do individual tailored manifesting plans to bring uh, your creations into reality. So if you need me, again, just give me a shout. Um, lots of kind of seeing out of the darkness where things have been really heavy and a little bit ungrounded with you guys before there is that shift and change in the frequencies between you guys definitely forward focusing looking to the future rather than looking to the past i'm going to just look at these nights a little bit more and just see if any energy comes up here there hasn't been um a letting go of this so even if your person have kind of on your separate ways for the time being they haven't released it they haven't surrendered it they are still wanting this relationship to work and there is also this need to see what you're up to maybe watching your social media coming forward here as well definite definite new growth and it's quick movement from new growth now foxes are one of my spirit animals absolutely love them i get loads around here because even though i'm in the city i'm on the outskirts of the city heading towards the peak district um and we get loads loads and loads of foxes um they've gone a bit quiet at the moment which is actually quite upsetting but i did see a white one last year i've never seen a white fox before and it was absolutely amazing so with the fox coming up over here and with the ones energy again really talking about the passionate side of things between you and your person the chemistry the connection um and good foresight, Spirit is saying, the fox signifying the foresight between you guys. Now, some people see foxes as sneaky and things like that, but Spirit is saying this isn't the case with you guys. The fox is symbolising the passions between the two of you and the movement of that, which is really, really good. It's cool. Wouldn't be surprised if a couple of you got bouquets of bladders in the not too distant future also. Now, the only two that we do need to talk about in a more kind of ooh light are the four of swords and the five of wands, okay? So where you guys at the moment are at the moment, you might have had a little bit of conflict around your person. It might have been a little bit stagnated. It might have been that they've been very much in their head or their heart and not finding that middle ground between you guys and it has created this conflicting energy. Now, if that hasn't happened yet, do be prepared that there might be a little bit of a spirit saying drama <laughs> coming up between you guys if it's not quite going the way you are expecting it to if that does happen and you do feel that this drama is kind of rising up and there's a little bit of chaos starting to appear over the situation take a step back have a breather from it and relax because all of this and you and your person are really heading towards these beautiful beautiful new beginnings your ten of pentacles i just absolutely love them the ten of pentacles and your queen of pentacles very very stable very secure and so much potential over here for family and weddings and everything that you want from this connection and it's happening now with very very quick movement from your person okay so between now and autumn shifts major 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 shifts and if it gets a bit too much take a step back have a breather remember to tell the universe what you want not what you don't want it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to come into reality so if you do feel that you are on a downhill spiral just do something that will distract yourself like painting your nails or getting engrossed in Netflix or going for a walk in the countryside, anything like that to just distract yourself from that kind of negative uh, thought process. With those 17 seconds, that's all you've got to play with. So try and trap it in its, its stead and change it, change the direction of that thought by doing something that you enjoy. And if you do that, 
there is no block well there are no blocks here the, the, for you and your person to come together in a relationship and move it in the right direction literally there are no blocks between the two of you um it's a bit of a frustrating road but the overall energy of deck number one is extremely positive um, and really heading towards a bright future between you guys Okay, and that is deck number one. Um, sending tons of blessings to you all. I will speak to you all super soon. Have a phenomenal week and um, lots of love and blessed be my friends. Ciao. Okay, beauties, deck number two. So we're looking at you and the future of you and your person. And for some reason, I was really drawn to using this Nightmare Before Christmas tarot cards that I have never used before. Um, because... You know, it's spring. It's not it's not Samhain, it's not October, but or Christmas, but I was just really drawn to use them for you. Um and I just love the back of them. I think the back of them is absolutely beautiful. And if you're a big nightmare before Christmas fan, um it's a good deck for you. Okay, think about your person. Can we get into their personal thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes? And let's look at the most probable outcome for the future of you and your person. So what is going to be happening with them and their people in the future? Where are we going? What is the future of them and their people watching? Okay, let's see what comes up. Okay, so I'm getting um, Britney Spears sometimes. Do you remember this one? It was, I remember it at school. Sometimes I run, sometimes I hide, sometimes I'm scared of you, but all I really want is to hold you tight. So your person might have been giving you a little bit of mixed messages, walking away from the situation, not giving you what you want, making you feel a little bit rubbish, and you're like, well, I don't really know what is happening. What's going, where is this going to go? What is the future of us? Um, and it's kind of calling a lot on your inner strength with regard to the situation. So difficult times, you guys have been through difficult times and the large majority of it is because your person has given you very mixed messages. I'm gonna get two more, that's, uh, that's three more, we'll have both, we'll have all three of them. So your person has been giving you mixed messages. You might have felt that they're coming towards you, then withdrawing, and you don't really know what is going on. It's created this sense of conflict with you guys. Perhaps you've come to a little bit of close. Perhaps you've decided to step away from the situation, or they have kind of left you um, in the dark, not knowing what you're doing, um, or just ghosting you. There is this kind of withdrawal happening with your person. They have withdrawn a little bit from the situation. Now, on the plus side, the good news is they have kept the door open. So, excuse me, spirit really coming into my energy. The most likely thing that's going on here is if they haven't said to you it's over, it's done, or even if they have, that door is still open for them to return to you, okay? So if they took a step back, don't overly panic over the situation. It's not overly something to freak out about, but there is this stepping away from this connection. Now, with that being said, we have the Page of Pentacles over here. And your Page of Pentacles is looking to stuff that has happened in the past with you guys. So your person has probably been, or you guys have probably been a little bit wounded by the little, uh, with the connection, a little bit unsure. Emotions have probably been flying around everywhere and there is this sense of uncertainty. So what's happened is there's this sense of retreating stepping taking a step back from the situation cuddling up in a blanket and retreating um spirit are saying to save face okay so if there's been a lot of tension they've done it so that they don't create these massive arguments between you guys um they're probably not handling the situation in the best way but they're doing it to kind of help you and to help the situation between you guys Okay, so kind of looking to stuff in the past, taking a step back, and that's where you currently are at the moment. So there is a bit of a panic over here. You are a little bit worried about where it's going. You're a little bit unsure on what the future is between you guys, um, and you're in this kind of no man's territory. You don't really know where it's going, what's going to happen next, and it's calling on this kind of inner strength with you. Doesn't even make you think of Festa from the Adams family. It's calling in that inner strength for you. You might feel as if you've been hit around the head. Um, you've got a bit of a headache from it all and you don't really know what progression you're taking. What you're doing at the moment, you guys watching, is you're building that inner strength within you. You're building that... Um, 
bond that connection with yourself and spirit is saying heritage that's why i went a bit quiet so there's obviously a lot of history within your family where um the majority of you in your family where your ancestors have probably been quite gone through very very difficult times i don't know if you are a lot lot watching are aware but you're working with a lot of ancestral energy at the moment to kind of gather up this strength and that's why spirit are saying heritage so where it's going between you guys it's going to probably go quiet for a little while um a little bit of downtime from things a little bit of like uh, not really sure what we're doing where we're going what's going to happen now from there your person is making a choice on this situation okay we have this choice kind of coming towards you we have the knight of swords and we have judgment so this is a choice that they're going to make over the situation and it's kind of got an immediate action to it. So a little bit of withdrawing out of the blue, you've got this movement towards you and this action. Now, it could be why we got drawn to this deck, but some of you guys, it will happen in the kind of winter in around October time. And you're like, oh, my God, that's miles away. But it could be why we were drawn to this deck. OK, so movement stepping in from your person, quite strong movement happening. Um and this progression route between you guys. You also might be feeling potentially at the moment that you could be a little bit of an option to them um, because they haven't made themselves very clear on what you they want from the situation, what you guys want from the situation. They've just handled it really, uh, really badly and it has left you feeling quite lost and confused. So you going into the future of you and your person, you have got movement coming in from them. OK, we've got this sense of karmic energy between you guys coming up as well. So it could be that you've lived past lives together that has created this sense of karma. Uh, best way to describe karma, and it can be a little bit heavy, but it's a good way of explaining it. In one lifetime, you would be the murderer and in the next lifetime, you would be the victim. So with you and your person, there's a sense of accrued karmic debt. OK, if you have the most romantic relationship in the world with your person. Um, there is still this sense of accrued karmic debt with you guys, okay? So the karma is going to be clearing. And the reason um, why it's so difficult at the moment is because there is a bit of an accrued karmic debt. So if you want to do a past life reading with me, we can do that. And we can try and give the, we can give the karma a bit of a boost and a bit of a kick out. Um, if not, go and have a YouTube on clearing karmic debt and see what you can find. And you can have a go at doing it yourself. So once they've moved, made this kind of sweeping movement back towards you, once this kind of karmic scales have re-tipped and the balance has changed, you've got an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, okay? And that new one is very passionate energy. So things coming to a bit of a close, but also with the close are joining together, okay? So you have to go, it has to kind of... Spirit is showing me the helixes again, you know, with the more divine relationship. It kind of has to go its separate ways to come back round, okay? And when you come back round, you've got this new passionate beginning between you guys. But very much an ending of a cycle and a beginning of a new one. So quiet for a little while, immediate movement coming towards you. Immediate movement is going to be leading to new beginnings. Now, what you guys want to do from that is going to be up to you. Um, your person is going to come towards you with some kind of maybe romantic energy and say to you, oh, look how much I love you. There's a bunch of offerings that I have to give you. I can give you this and I can give you that. What you want will depend at that point in time on how you feel over this situation. The point is you will have the chance if you want to make it work, you could make it work with your person. But it's down to you guys. Your person, by the time they come back round and when they do communicate with you and they do speak to you, you might be quite fed up with it. Equally, you might not. You might be like, oh my God, I want to speak to them. I want this to work out between us. Um, but there is this kind of down to you. It's your lot, you guys watching, it is your choice on if this is what you want with your person. Um, now, don't necessarily count October as a timing for you all, um, mainly because it is just the deck that was being drawn to, um, and obviously it's Halloween. But don't um, don't view that as a specific timing on it. Over here, you've got Valentine's Day, you've got Christmas, you've got easter as well okay so you're very split with your timings in deck number two but there is a new beginning coming up here a much more creative energy coming forward as well um creativity based on your passion so you guys will be thinking through what direction you want to go down what pathway is this the right person for you and you lot will decide um but the joy of it is it's on you really it's on you guys watching because until they um you know by the time they come back, 
it's going to be what you want you're in your power you're in your strength you've been working with your ancestors they've been giving you a lot of inner strength to deal with the situation so you will be the ones that decide um you might take a little bit of time with that decision keep your ear to the ground you know um trust your own instinct trust your own intuition on it lots of new um new possibilities between you guys you're going to know like lots of ideas and dreams that could happen happen between you both if that is what you want um and the debt number two on what you do want it's a little split between you guys some of you guys are like yes it's what i want it's what i want i want it's what i want and then the other side of you the flip side is a little bit like oh i don't actually know by the time it comes back around is this something that i'm going to want because their behavior has been a little bit uncalled for so that will all kind of start with you guys but the point is you will have the potential to make this work if it is what you want okay and that is that number two. So have a blessed week, my lovelies. Drop me a message if you need me. I'll put all the details in the comments for you. Uh, stay safe in these difficult times. If you need me, uh, my turnaround is down at the moment. 12th of April is when England comes off lockdown. So if you want to book, I would advise you book before then. Um, and I love you all to pieces. I will speak to you super soon. Take care and uh, God has blessings. Bye, guys.